Hi, my name is Catherine Roseland with Board Game Geek TV here with, at Spiel 2013. I'm sitting here with Philip Moomar, and we're here to talk about some of CGE's newest games. Yes, so uh, this is the first and the most important of our new games because it's the only one which is not expansion. It's called Tashkalar Arena of Legends. And uh, it's a game for two to four players, plays very quickly, and well, as usual from Vlada Quatil, you can expect some, something very new which he haven't touched yet. Uh, so there's this one. And then the expansion. So the next one is Tolkien expansion called Thrives and Prophecies. It adds some more variety to the game, it doesn't make it more complex or longer, it adds fifth, fifth player and some uh, variable elements it really to just make it more uh, replayable, let's say it like that. Another one, Dungeon Pets Dark Ellis. It's like, well, you just want the more, the more pets the merrier, right? Exactly. So uh, it's another game from this universe, uh, again drawn with this wonderful art artwork from David Kochar. I just can't, you know, put my eyes, uh, eyes away of it. It's just wonderful. So that's another thing. Uh, last will, uh, getting sacked, sucked, sucked. Yeah. Sucked. sucked is a bit better word. Sorry. Um, and yeah, again, just more things in last will, you can you can get employed, you will actually get employed, you need to get fired and Sounds more right. cards, more everything. And the last expansion is Galaxy Tracker, the latest models. Mm. It's uh, just, as you can see, it's not big box anymore, it's just it's just the ships, but this time it's like, well, they are just really crazy, so, really crazy. so more about that later. And last but not least, we have some little surprise for you, which... Uh, which my brother Petr will talk about just in a minute. Great, looking forward to it. Tashkalar is the ancient art of magical combat performed in arenas and combat pits throughout the known world. Tashkalar is also the name of the oldest and most famous arena, the place where the game began. Tashkalar is an exciting board game that confronts players with the same intellectual challenges that dueling mages have faced for centuries. My name is Catherine Roseline with Board Game Geek TV here at Spiel 2013. I'm sitting here with Lada Quato Hello. and uh, Philip Murmach, and we're here to talk about CGE's newest game. Tashkalar! 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let's get serious, yeah, because uh, I have to say uh, working on this, on this game was very like serious task because, you know, there's lots of games about, uh, about like soccer and uh, I don't know, wrestling or hockey, but, uh, or uh, combat arts and so on, but this, this beautiful combat art, Tashkalar, uh, has no game, uh, yes, uh, so we said, okay, that, that's shame, so we uh, just uh, went to archives and uh, we're, we're consulting the mages that, that are best, best combatants in Tashkalar and uh, they decided to create as true version of a board version of Tashkalar as possible. And you will see now the result. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah. Looking yeah, to so, it. Uh, so let's start to kick some magic asses. Yes, this because, let's do it. Uh, you know, uh, Tashkalar is for uh, two to Four players. Yeah. It plays. Uh, it has several uh, uh, game modes uh, okay. and plays. Uh, we believe are very uh, nice in uh, various uh, various amount of players. Uh, uh, we are uh, facing each other in arena, and we are just uh, materializing this magic uh, magic stones, magic pieces here, and then use them to summon uh, summon uh, big bigger creatures that. Uh, moves, combat, uh, and so on, uh, battle there. So uh, uh, basically, uh, and it's, it, has very, uh, it has very simple rules. Basically, uh, these are full rules. 
and it's not just some help. Yeah, this yeah. is two pages of rules, and it describes all game modes. That's why there are the colors. Because if you play uh, like high form of Kashtashkar, you just read the uncolored things and the green ones. So that's okay. not so long. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, can be teached okay. very, very, very uh, quickly. And, and so. then there is a guidebook that uh, covers the team and our research uh, in search for perfect implementation of Tashkalar. And there is explanation of everything uh, with um, many examples and so on. And Just to clarify uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but uh, all you need uh, to play the game yeah, are play, just yeah, yeah. the two pages. Yeah, exactly. That's interesting with the color coding. And uh, if we show you, you will you will understand uh, you will understand it pretty pretty quickly. Yeah? So, for example, I start. So I have only one action. I can place something there, and uh, Philip is playing, and so on. And uh, we are uh, trying to uh, prepare some patterns to summon some uh, beings, uh, some magical beings on the board. I, 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 I'm afraid there will be eagle going there. Yes. How did you know? Uh, yeah, exactly, because I know the pattern of eagle ah. <laughs> is here. So now on the white space appears the eagle and kills my guy. Uh, and, he's and, able to put out a new piece. and now uh, I can do combat moves. So yeah, so I look uh, at my cards hmm. and prepare something even more yes. nasty. You know what? Uh, and that's how the game is basically played. Yeah. So uh, you are uh, you have a hand of cards. Now he's he's drawing another card, and uh, and uh, we are trying uh, trying to. Uh, uh, outsmart the opponent and uh, kill his beings uh, by, by some magic tricks uh, we have in our, in our cards uh, or even uh, like prepare some legendary beings mm -hmm. yeah uh, I, I yeah so uh, we are just taking turns it's just only two action it is either placing uh, one stone or playing a card if I match the pattern, yeah, and that's it. And that, you choose one of them each turn. Is that how it works? Uh, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can uh, have two actions. So you can okay. uh, place, play, place two tokens, or you can play two cards on one and uh, or, yeah. or do one yeah, each. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, and that's how how it is played. Uh, it can be played uh, quickly, quickly. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was giving you a chance to re to regroup. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that's that's master somewhere. I see. No, it's not. <laughs> War but it could be. How long will a game yeah. typically take? If you're, yes. uh, yeah, you had it in your hand and didn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't tell me that I suck you at the game. Turn it that way. Thank Play you. Way. Yes, I was trying to match the pattern because, as you can see, uh, you can even rotate it. You can reflect ah, I it. See. You can do whatever ah, thing you. It is really like this. So when the pattern is like yeah. that. So, yes. <laughs> if you have more sophisticated patterns, which are which are not uh, linear like like this, then you can even try to imagine how to how to mirror them and so on. So, in this case, I would summon in here this guy. And it gives it gives me another action, and for the next pattern, I can use one enemy piece as it were mine. So I have one more action which I gained. And now, and I could do something crazy, uh, and I don't see it. Let me help me. How do yeah, you? exactly. You can do, for example, this. Of course, why not? Uh, but. Uh, like say, okay, uh, this is this pattern, oh, yeah. like this, because you can use my my token here, put it here, and it has two combat moves, one, two, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I am pretty much, but that's, that's, that, that's <laughs> no problem, because I can get back by using special cards, uh, uh, but I will save them for later, I can still pr prepare uh, some things. The point is, now we are just uh, playing, like uh, showing the basic mechanics. There are yes. several game modes uh, and several goals uh, you can play. Uh, Ooh, okay. So this is the basic. Uh, uh, this is the basic. Yeah, we are just uh, the, the, all game modes uh, or game forms. Yeah, we, we say high form of Tashkalar. This is the original one where uh, there are these these arena masters are announcing quests, yeah, or tasks to fulfill. So they, they can be, for example, uh, task to destroy some uh, some am, uh, amount of enemy pieces in one round, or to conquer the red spaces. Uh, these red spaces, or to form a line of uh, of, of your tokens, yeah. And uh, you are trying to concentrate because uh, now Philip is uh, very nicely concentrating on destroying my pieces. But yes. if there is no goal for destroying pieces, no task for destroying then pieces, he's not gonna... he gets nothing. And he allows me actually to play my special flare card. That uh, because you know this magic stone, this color it needs to be in balance. And now it is very Im imbalanced. 
and I can say, okay, so I can use this for free. I have six few, fewer than, than him, so I can place one heroic just for free, yeah, like as an uh, extra action, yeah. So uh, I can do, for example, like this and this and now summon something. So I'm back into game a bit at least, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it, it, uh, and I can now prepare something uh, new by moving my uh, pieces as this, this card allows me, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the game is about, uh, the high form of Tashkar is about fulfilling quests because you, aren't, you need to really concentrate Specific your quests, yeah. yeah, because you can gain dominance on the board, but it, it uh, doesn't, uh, it's not a permanent, uh, permanent value. And then there are several deadmatch modes in which the ghost is really to destroy your opponent. He gets back by playing these cards, these flares, but there is crowd around and they are cheering, yeah? uh, cheering you up, yeah? because the scoring boards are like crowd oh, <laughs> around, yeah. Yeah? and uh, they are cheering you, and uh, uh, when, uh, when, op when you make opponents to play these cards, then you score points for it. Yeah? So, uh, for destroying him, for and of course the point is there are some special. We have each of us has his own deck. There are several different decks in the game. I can show you. Okay, so depending on which color you're playing, you're playing. Yeah, 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 different like, yeah, yeah. Game. And it's a very unique set of cards. Each of them is, is unique with uh, unique art. Actually, and actually, abilities. not each of them. Uh, two two of these decks are the are same because. So I mean, we know some people prefer to play symmetric games and some people prefer to play asymmetric games. So instead of having having four different, we think that for the one group is enough three different and for another we have this uh, option to play symmetric game mm -hmm. with uh, like Southern uh, Empire versus Northern Empire, because which, which are basically same except the for same, color. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, yeah, that, uh, and uh, there is one common deck of legends Oops. Bring me more legends. Here, okay. yeah, yes. we, we made mess here as always. Uh, so uh, there are legendary cards that uh, requires uh, some uh, because uh, as you see, some uh, some pieces are, they are we call them common. And these are heroic. Yes. Yeah, you co uh, cast cast the heroic uh, summon the heroic by the cards usually, and uh, for summoning these, that means like this. This is a legendary car, uh, card, two-headed dragon that appears here and it's le it's legendary piece that is very hard to destroy ah, yeah. and uh, it has some effect that even he upgrades another one uh, so, so it's two, this two-headed dragon yeah mm -hmm. so this is how you bring le legends and in bo uh, all modes the legends have special uh, impact on scoring yeah I, I don't want to go into details no the rules are simple and uh, we have them already online yeah uh, so that's it. Yeah. Uh, so to get rid of one of these legendary ones, you have to use another legendary one. Is that yeah, you, uh, that, that's the best way is to. But every every uh, deck has some special tricks how to get rid of legends. But it's not which usually very For example, easy. And here let's show kissing least least splitter. This guy can kill pretty much it's not anything. Guy. <laughs> hmm? It's not guy. But she <laughs> can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so uh, she can. But you need to have. If, I would have green, uh, or let's, let's say, let's say like this, like this. This would be perfect if this would be green. I can summon Kiskin, uh, Leaf Splitter here and kill both because they were ah. stupid enough to let me do this. Yeah? <laughs> yes, exactly. Because uh, so there are tricks in each deck. Each, each deck has, has uh, like, its own yeah, way yeah, of dealing yeah, it's with only, legendary There is uh, assassin that can kill legends. Yeah. Or ti even time mage. That if you surround the legend, uh, it just disappears in a uh, whirlwind of time, yeah, and so on. So and you gain action. So that's uh, uh, actually the champion is killing legends too, yeah. So uh, lots of different ways of dealing. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and as you said, you can summon legend on top on top of it because you can summon a, a being on top of the same or le lower level. So yes. there's one of way uh, one way of killing uh, pieces is. Summoning, uh, summoning uh, the same or uh, higher. The same, yeah, uh, yeah, and and effects of the cards are another. So that's uh, that's uh, how the game is played. Uh, we uh, we now uh, we've been playing two-player game. We play like in 20 minutes, but uh, of course the first game takes a longer, takes a bit longer. And uh, there are these interesting modes when where. Uh, players are sitting, uh, like four players are sitting here, three or four, and uh, they uh, play this dead match, and you score points. Like if I uh, give me some 
color of token. Yeah, uh, when we play, if we would be playing four, I would have my scoring board here, I would be blue, and I have score in three colors. So if I destroy Philip, he's uh, brown, mm -hmm. I I move uh, this uh, token. Ah. If I destroy a red, I move this, yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, you, your score is the lowest of your, of your uh, results here, yeah? Okay. Uh, decides. So I need to destroy everyone in the game. I cannot just team with Philip to destroy them or something like this, yeah? Uh, if I want to team with Philip to destroy them, then we can play team variant. Yeah, ah. we will sit in oppo opposite. We will uh, have each uh, only one color. We will share color. We will be both like blue. Uh, but we will uh, have uh, each of us will have his own de deck of cards, and we can uh, allow it, and we will share legends. So we are preparing the pattern for legend. To, uh, we will be and you can swap yeah, them back yeah, and forth yeah, yeah, yeah. and have a look at and them. And I can uh, in some situations I can let play Philip instead of me, and he can let me play instead of him. So it's uh, really about cooperation. Yeah, that's interesting. So you can play the game two player regular mm -hmm. or, or three or four player regular, or yeah. you can switch yeah, yeah, between yeah. The, uh, the team version. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because we um, I, I have. To to admit we have fun developing this and uh, and uh, it was it was interesting work to, to just to trying to invent more more ways how to play it and uh, and, and but the, the basic basics are the, base, the same yeah. for the same game. Just adding a little elements. Yeah. Obrowski. So uh, yeah and another point is that uh, uh, we, uh, I am I'm pretty happy as author of the game, as a designer of the game. I'm pretty happy uh, we we get uh, David Kohart uh, on uh, on this game again because he really uh, <laughs> uh, he really like uh, added spirit to the game. Yeah. yeah? Uh, so uh, like Philip was cooperating basically on, it was, on daily basis with him. Yeah. It was a big challenge for us to make graphics for this game because as you can see in the core it's an abstract game you're yeah. you're, you're, you're placing uh, these tokens on board it's it's with, it has really interesting twist because the abstract part is just uh, it's just it's just uh, mechanics for you to actually play the cards all the position on the on the board has different value for you according to what quests are there what cards you have in, uh, in your hand so it's not like chess or another abstract games in which you know that this position is always better than this position no. in, in here it always uh, it always depends on what you have in your hand what one has in your hands what was our intentions so the abstract part is just like it's just like a way to to introduce something something new uh, but we, but we knew that when we are presenting, that when we are, when we will be presenting this this game to gamers, they will mostly see the board and everything. So we, yes. we, we knew that we want to make the graphics really really stand out. The so beautiful cards. David Card was our, well, uh, almost first choice. Let's let's say like, like like this. It was one of one of the guys we were uh, we were uh, evaluating for this game. But the big challenge was, you know, he's he's always used to do games like Dungeon Pets, Dungeon Lords. A lot of cute, fluffy things with big <laughs> imagination. But this, in in its in its core, is high fantasy game. You want dragons, you want uh, knights, you want hypnotists, cannon, and and guys like this. So we weren't completely sure. David David is the guy for uh, for it. It was very challenging, but we have to say the result is quite good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he managed to sneak, sneak a little cute in there as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. true. And and um, the, the point is that uh, you know. Uh, if we would uh, hire like some uh, real, uh, true uh, high fantasy uh, author, uh, I am I am not sure if we have so so great spirit yeah, no. the game because he adds so uh, so uh, he adds to his pictures so many uh, little details yeah, yeah some uh, uh, like uh, show show some Kentaur. I, I was uh, <laughs> I was very pretty surprised when I saw this card for the first time. It's not how typical Kentaur no, it looks it's like. No, it's very, very neat. <laughs> yeah, because love the horse's head. Yeah, yeah. but but to, to the to this Sylvan deck, uh, this is forest deck. It's much more natural creature. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. And uh, it fits perfectly. So when I saw it, say, oh, great. Yeah. I, it was not that we said uh, uh, we need this type type of Kentaur. He drew it, and it was awesome. And uh, for me, it's very important because uh, Philip says it's abstract game, but for me, it is not anymore. Yeah. No, exactly. Because I every the art adds so every much. every of these. Uh, uh, has some uh, the powers match the team, yeah. Like hypnotist can move opponent's pieces. There's only card that can move opponent's pieces and so on, yeah. Uh, infantry captain, let's move your formation, yeah. And Griffon rider can uh, jump uh, around. So the, the, yeah, yeah. So, so the movement has to do with the character itself, and it adds a bit of uh, 
shirt. And yeah, not yeah. just that, also if you look at the patterns, Vlada, Vlada was very thorough in, uh, making, in making them look, look alike, like actual, like actual guys. So if you look in here, this, it's, it kind of looks like a dragon with its, with its, uh, with its uh, wings, with its wings spreading, spreading fire down. Or uh, the Griffin Rider, it kind of you know match, matches the the, the, the yeah, pattern and uh, the the uh, being appears on behind his neck, <laughs> ne yeah. neck, yeah, and so on. Yeah, that's uh, uh, that's it was it was very, very interesting nice work. Visual, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. This seems very interesting. I'm looking forward to trying it out. And uh, thanks for coming out. This again was uh, Tashkalar. Tashkalar, arena of legends. <laughs> Tashkalar is the ancient art of magical combat performed in arenas and combat pits throughout the known world. Tashkalar is also the name of the oldest and most famous arena, the place where the game began. And Tashkalar is an exciting board game that confronts players with the same intellectual challenges that dueling mages have faced for centuries.